Monday. Bank holiday Monday, in fact, which means Jack's home. And we are gonna probably get on with some small DIY sort of stuff today, I guess, and sorting the house out a little bit because we spent the last two or three days, well, probably since Thursday, really, as I think I showed you, yeah, without a bedroom because the floor was being done and then we had to paint the skirting board and attach the beading because there was a gap between the skirting board and the floorboards. Yeah, we've basically had a full-on weekend of DIY and it's done and everything's moved back in the bedroom, which is ace, um, but there's a few other little bits to do and the rest of the house looks like hell. <laughs> but before we do all of that, we're gonna have a nice little porridge breakfast outside in the garden. So just been mouse sanding with this guy, that I'm that bit back, so that it's nice and smooth. Uh, and then we're gonna prime it because we don't want to paint pink straight onto that grey plaster. And then we're gonna patch it up with <laughs> you can't even see what it is. There's so much paint on the outside. Um, this Laura Ashley um, old rose colour paint, which is what is in here. little Katie Gillies coaster and then also another cute surface that she made for us and there's little Marimo moss balls. I think it looks super cute. Whilst I'm waiting for everything to dry paint wise in the bedroom I've been printing out everybody's orders, uh, the address labels because um, although there's no posting today I think Charlotte's coming over tomorrow so we can get all of those packed up first thing in the morning and sent off. There's quite a few as you can see, lots of those are the pre-orders for um, the pins which have now arrived. These guys uh, arrived a couple of days ago, so we're going to be putting those onto their backing cards tomorrow as well. Loads of people have been waiting for these little guys, so it's good to have them back in stock. Uh, and the Adventure Awaits pins too. Um, and also the terrariums. So one of the things I did with this lot was, um, so I've tweaked the colours um, of this guy from like a peachy colour to um, a pink because, I don't know, I just think it works better. Um, I've changed the orange as well so it's a little bit brighter, more Momo-like, um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with how that's come out. So I have to photograph these uh, and list them because I'm not going to be, once these are sold out, um, I'm not going to be offering them in that colour anymore. Um, I also... Classic one-handed opening, everybody's favourite. So I also um, changed the colours of this one very slightly, the Pillia pin, so that you can see the differentiation in colour in the leaves that I originally wanted. Um, so that's nice, that's come out well. I got the Luna pin um, made with black. Uh, nickel rather than gold because I think it shows off um, the colours a bit better. I'm really, really pleased with that one as well, so I need to re-photograph this guy. I recoloured uh, the cacti too to make them closer to my original design. Um, and I'm really happy with those as well. They've come out exactly as I wanted them, a lot brighter. The Adventure Awaits. I've changed the colour of the tent because you couldn't really distinguish it from anything else in the first run of these pins. Um, so yeah, I made it basically a lighter colour of enamel and it's worked really well. It's like a little tealy blue tent um, on the night landscape there. So I'm really pleased with those and loads of people have pre-ordered them so um, they'll be going out first thing tomorrow. So I'm not sure how well you can see on the camera. Um, and it doesn't really want to focus on these, which is also great. Um, but basically, this guy, um, I've changed it because that's the exact colour I wanted it on my original design. And when the first lot came out, they'd made it a much more murky green. Um, it's really hard when you're um, dealing direct with manufacturers to get the colours that you intend, the ones that you've designed on screen, to actually match up with the colours that they mix um, in the enamels. I think it's been a real learning curve, um, learning how to kind of get those Pantone references exactly right so they reflect what you want. Um, but yeah, I've done a bit of tweaking with this one and I'm really, really pleased. 
I've been using an online resource now for my Pantone references um, that someone linked in a pin group and I'll actually link it below because it's so useful if you don't have a Pantone, a Pantone swatch book and they cost a couple of hundred pounds. These are really really good and thus far the changes I've made using this online reference they've come out the exact colours I wanted. So I'll share that with you guys because it's really useful. We've got sourdough toasted under there with some coconut yogurt, salsa, avocado, figs, um, a little courgette salad from one of my pals at the farmer's market yesterday, tomatoes from the garden and rocket from the garden. Literally snipped the rocket from literally over there like two seconds ago and salvaged the toms from this very sad tomato plant here. What even is this sleeping position? Oh, here's one leg in the air. Just gonna paint this pink now. Hope it goes on nicely and hope I don't get it all over the floor. One side done. One side to go. Done. Probably gonna have to do another coat though, but looks good. Just, uh, yeah, gotta wash these. I was using and then I've got to attach the new ventilation thing because that looks terrible. Good morning, it is Tuesday. It feels like Monday, obviously, because yesterday was a bank holiday. Today, Charlie is here. She is just about to start packing all of the orders um, that I printed those labels out for yesterday. And then we've got a long, long, long to-do list, including kind of Re-photographing those pins that I got in different colourways, um, the cards, uh, they need re-photographing because I haven't updated those for a while, and I've got, yeah, a couple of uh, YouTube videos to film and edit that are plant related, so I'm going to try and get those done today as well, but yeah. Lots and lots and lots of little things to do today, and obviously all of those many hundreds of pins need to go on their backing cards, so that's going to keep us busy too. It is half two, Jack, I didn't say earlier, I don't think, Jack's working from home, he's been on a conference call, I think he might be making us lunch? I can hear chopping to on downstairs. But um, Charlie is just putting all of the orders into the Royal Mail OBA system before bagging them up, uh, and then once she's done that, I am going to be sat here doing the plant Q&A video that I need to do. So this morning I have been doing so much wedding related stuff, like before getting engaged and organising my own wedding I had no idea how much ticking boxes and things you have to think about and forms you have to fill in and stuff you have to do. So I've been filling out the registrar's form which requires like all of the readings, who's going to read them, what they're going to be, what all the song choices are going to be for guests filling the room and then me walking down the aisle and then everybody leaving and signing the register and who are going to be the witnesses. Yeah, there's a lot of questions and I've been doing all of those. So that's taken me the best part of the morning. <laughs> so having pineapple, tomatoes from the garden, seeds, red cabbage, lettuce, basically all the yummy stuff for our lunch with some of the um, kind of almost chimichurri um, herbs from the garden and vinegary sauce that we made yesterday and some of the vegan burgers that we made last night and then we're gonna have the rest of the cashew mozzarella, uh, hummus, koyo and salsa. still putting pins on backs. All the post is ready to go, got a couple of signed for items. Uh, I'm just gonna head to the post office now, really exciting. And then I've got to get ready to go to the gym because it's legs, bums and tums and tomorrow I've got my wedding dress fitting with a seamstress. So this nectarine tastes really good but looks really revolting. It looks like something from an autopsy. It's gross. What's wrong with you? Good morning, it's Wednesday, the cats are playing silly buggers downstairs, things are crashing around uh, and it's just gone 8 o'clock and I am working from the bed office. I'm wearing <laughs> a ridiculous Christmas themed squashy cat face pyjama t-shirt because who cares and Jack before he left for work made me the cutest little pot of herbal tea to keep me going. Look at that. Gotta not leave that to get stone cold before I drink it, as usual. 
But anyway, vlog very late is uploading, um, or exporting, sorry, from last week, so that'll be live today. And the postman has just delivered this beast that I want to open. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to open it one-handed, but we can give it a go. It's like a bubble wrap fortress. Like, I genuinely don't know how to get in. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go for a slice. Shiver. Ugh. Oh no, there's so much of it. Oh god. Oh god. Can you guess what it is yet? Also, I literally hate foam. Sponge stuff, sponge foam is like, ugh, like, I can't even explain it like nails on a blackboard or squeaky balloons to people which actually don't bother me but like oh that makes me shiver I genuinely might have to wait till Jack comes home to get it out just been going through the wedding list basically trying to get the final numbers down which means chasing people for RSVPs which is never fun but only the people in orange are the ones that haven't given us an answer yes or no so really it's not a huge amount. I'm still working from the bed office because it's miserable outside and it's way more comfortable here than sat at my desk. Not just been doing the wedding stuff. I've been doing the custom thumbnail for last week's vlog, which I'm a terrible person. It's only going up today. But at least it's done, right? I'm not that far behind. The bank holiday threw me. I'm gonna blame it on that. But, but yeah, it's um, 20 past 11. I've got some um, those patches that I was designing I showed you a few weeks ago with the kind of greenhouse pocket patch and the plant pocket patches. I need to get them finalised. I'm gonna do them for a couple of hours now. And then I've got to pick up Gemma because we're going for my first actual with a seamstress dress fitting, which is terrifying and really exciting. And I just hope I feel like I look really good in it, which I hope isn't really vain to say, but like it's a really big purchase and it's the one day of your life as a girl that you can look like a proper fancy pants and it's totally different from anything obviously I would normally wear so yeah it's like a big deal and I really just want to feel super good in it and we've got 28 days I think 27 days maybe till the wedding so yeah it's coming around super quick to move to the actual studio because my laptop sounds like it's taking off again um but I've been working on as well as the glass house patch design you saw last well last week week before maybe so as well as this guy which um I showed you guys as I was working on that hopefully is going to be a patch um I was, I've been playing around with this loads, working on this one. I'm just not happy with the shapes or the colours or anything. So I'm parking that one for a bit. And I have been doing basically like a patch remodelling, I guess. If it'll focus. I guess you can see it better there. Like a patch version of um, my terrarium pin. Yeah. Pretty pleased with it. I've kind of made outside grey glass kind of connecty pane bit the same as the uh, glass house one so it kind of ties in that way and I might recolour things a little bit so that they match in with this one but not yet sure probably if anything I'll just make the crystal more these colours rather than those colours but yeah that's what I'm doing at the moment and then I've got one more probably to do um, and then I'll send these off to get some proofs. What do you think? Do you like it? Would you wear it as a patch? <laughs> yeah, let me know because I haven't ordered them yet and it would be really, really, really nice to get some feedback from you guys. I realised I had a really rumbly tummy, but then I didn't want to have like a massive lunch because I don't want to be bloated because I've got to have my dress fitting. So I went with the old classic of 
vegan coconut collaborative ice cream covered in peanut butter. And uh, it's hitting the spot. So I've been selling my terrarium pin for a couple of years now and it's one of my best sellers. And I was just sitting drawing away on my patch and I was like, hang on a minute. This doesn't make sense. If I move the layer order around like Definitely one of the joins of the glass that should be behind the cacti looks like it's in front of the cacti. Yeah, that's wrong. So I'm like changing it on my patch and I was like, did I just change the layer order on this or have I done it wrong for the pins that I've been making for a million years? And turns out the pins have got the wrong lines on them. So yeah, that triangly pointed line that goes over the cacti there, <laughs> actually should be behind the cacti. Whoops. I mean, it's very much too late to change them now and I've just had over a hundred just delivered to me a couple of days ago. I can't believe, do you know when you notice something though and you can't unsee it? I can't unsee that. Hopefully no one else will notice though. But I've, I've rectified it here on the patch version. Have a look. It should look like, I don't know why the colours look really weird on the screen. This looks red, but in IRL, in real life, it's pink. And it looks much nicer than that. Um, but anyway, yeah, the lines of the join there should go behind the cacti like that. What a nightmare. But yeah, I think this is done. Might be ready to send that off. my first dress fitting with the seamstress who pinned me in all over the place and at first it was very terrifying <laughs> and then it actually went quite well and now I feel better about my dress which is obviously good and then we had super nice lunch at Josie's mm, all the halloumi our fave and now we are going to char to hopefully buy some loose leaf tea because I always forget to go here when I go to Winchester and it better not be shut oh and I bought this <laughs> shiny basket that pops up, it's just folded flat at the moment, that's going to be for all the props at the photo booth for the wedding. For the photo booth at the wedding, not at the <laughs> photo booth for the wedding. Can't speak. Back from boxing with Gemma. Had a really good class today. Had a really good day today really, let's be honest. Dress fitting went well, didn't it? And Jack has made the most amazing looking dinner, obviously from Minimalist Baker's website, recipe, book, book, look at it. Okay, so it definitely just not looks, film very I well. mean it just looks like pasta and sauce, which essentially it is, but it is this. So it's a vegan butternut squash garlic mac and cheese and look at the sauce. Good morning, it's Thursday and it is All Systems Go here today. It's actually 11 o'clock um, because I forgot to charge my camera so it's been dead all morning until now. But yeah, it's been All Systems Go basically. Jack is off on his stag do from this afternoon until Monday. And so uh, yeah, we're basically doing like a sort the house out and tidy up because next week, midweek whilst Jack's just got back basically, we have a photo shoot happening in our house, which is really exciting and I can't tell you any more yet. But yeah, basically it means the whole house needs to be like tidy and clean. And we're really busy up until that point and Jack's away. So he's doing a bit of tidying downstairs. Charlie has been um, packing orders, which is great. I've been working on new pins, new pins, patches. I posted the patches on Instagram yesterday and got loads of really, really good feedback. Everybody really liked this one. This one was a big thumbs up too and everybody loved this one, but it needed some tweaking around with the layers and the design and stuff. So this guy is gonna be like hidden in your pocket. And so when you pull your pocket down, you'll see like a little sleeping cat. Um, but yeah, I thought it was like a good way of tying the whole patch design together so it wasn't just leaves that end and go nowhere. I just thought it'd be like a cute little surprise. So obviously the cat needs working on. Uh, I need to fill in a different colour here and maybe work on something to fill the gap here. But I'm much happier with it already. So um, now that Charlotte's packed orders, she's going to do a little um, 
reshoot basically of all of my greetings cards. So we've got these backing papers that I use for my product photos from GF Smith papers that I love. Um, and what we've done is we've basically sorted the cards out and put them with the matching uh, backing papers that look nice with the, co the colours of the cards basically. And then I'm going to put them down here. I've got my Manfrotto tripod and my Olympus camera and this quite good natural light here. So we're going to get the shots set up there. And I think as props behind the um, cards, we're going to use some of these really lovely Katie Gillies um, surfaces that I ordered and featured on the vlog a couple of weeks ago, because I think they'll go really, really nicely on the papers and with the cards. That's this afternoon's task for Charlotte whilst I get on finishing those patches. Yesterday, I put the kind of question out there to Instagram as to whether people like the new designs that I've been working on, and this is how many responses <laughs> I got to the new patches. It looks like people like the ideas, which is always really nice. I really love Instagram for getting like instant feedback. The vlog is really, really lovely to have you guys' as, um, thoughts about my week and what I do and your opinions and suggestions and stuff like that. I really, really love that side of the interaction of YouTube, but Instagram, I really love the kind of in the moment feedback and because it's kind of, it's not anonymous, but people direct message you, it's just, yeah, people seem to be really open and honest and yeah, really lovely. And I like that side of product design, you know, back two, three years ago, even that wasn't something that was possible. So yeah, it's really cool to have everybody involved in the kind of design process because at the end of the day, I want to make products that people want to buy. It's really nice for it to feel a little bit more collaborative and not just me pouring my ideas out into nowhere and not kind of really knowing what the response is going to be. So following on from everybody's feedback and kind of thoughts yesterday, it seems that people like uh, the three new patch designs. That's three, that's four, there's three. The one that I wasn't sure about, the pocket patch that I showed you, um, that one got so much love, which is amazing, and also loads of different like little tweaks and suggestions. So I'm just going to show you now what it looked like yesterday and what it looks like today. So this was it yesterday. Like I said, I wasn't really happy with the kind of colours or the placement so much and the fact that it just ends like here would make putting it into a pocket a bit awkward and if you didn't want, you like the patch but you didn't have a pocket tee to put it on, it's kind of redundant. So people suggested kind of like a little secret surprise and a little bit more colour and stuff like that and so this is what it looks like today. You can kind of see that it's got more of a balanced design. I've put some banana leaves in here and edited the background a bit. I think I need to fill in a little bit here because otherwise that's going to be white patch. Um, but then it's got this cute little kitty Oop. here that's like sleeping at the bottom of all of the plants. So yeah, when you have a t-shirt, it'll kind of cover here and then you can pull it down ooh, to reveal your sleeping kitty. So I've done a little mock-up on this. So this is what it'll look like on a tee once it's sewn in. So it'll kind of sit in the um, pocket like that. And then when you pop it down, you'll see the little kitty as well, which I think, yeah, I think it'll look quite cool. I hope you guys like it too. Again, as always, let me know. I haven't ordered these yet. Um, this is just the very beginning stages of the design process. So it'll be ace to know what you think. <laughs> Luna, I get up for two seconds. She's even got her like leg, <laughs> like, yeah, and what? Somebody chose a pan too small for the uh, amount of courgette I was making, but it'll shrink down. So for lunch, me and Charlotte are gonna have courgette this time with the uh, minimalist baker butternut squash vegan mac and cheese sauce. So, a little behind the scenes. Um, how it is on the camera. Um, it's really nice, the Olympus, because it has these little inbuilt spirit levels, which tell you when it is on an even plane, basically. Uh, and the tripod has um, nice little inbuilt spirit levels all over it as well, which is great. And what I really like about this tripod is it has this horizontal arm. So it means I can take flat lays basically from directly above um, without getting the tripod legs in shot. So when this is on the computer, we'll zoom in. Um, I can adjust the aperture quickly here so that it 
brightens it a bit. Um, obviously it makes it too bright for the screen. <laughs> but that's as it should be. So after a ton <laughs> of requests on Instagram for Momo to be the cat in the patch, I have changed it to feature him. <laughs> so it's got his sleepy little face and his crazy fuzzy fur. Charlie's just gone. We got loads of day. Here goes Rock on Prada. Uh, oh, maybe getting hit by a car, that's good. Charlotte photographed all the products, that was ace. Got the patches finalised and done, which is also ace. Now I'm off to the gym um, for Stepping Tone. Also meeting Alana for a coffee first. Had a super nice catch up with Alana. Had a smoothie, it was really good. And now I'm at the gym and I've got Stepping Tone. So here's hoping I don't twist my ankle again slash break it before my wedding, because that'd be really fun, wouldn't it? Have I just tempted fate? Help not. Morning, it's Friday and I have officially finally lost the plot, I think. <laughs> Either that or I just can't cope without Jack, how sad is that? So, it is half past 11, I'm half in my sportswear, ready to go for a run with Darren, but literally all the things. I've been stress eating this orange chocolate vegan pud thing because I needed something and doing all the things this morning. I've been running around downstairs trying to tidy the house and clean it a bit and put the washing away because I think I mentioned already there's a shoot happening here next week but I just want to get it done. I've got the orders to post. I've been using these stupid card thingy to pay for our various wedding suppliers because like it gets to a month before and now all of your balances are due so I've been paying all of that this morning I've done some Wedman illustration for some of the signage and props pre half eleven and yeah and, and this delivery's just arrived which is pretty amazing so I went to a cocktail masterclass with six o'clock gin at the weekend din event I did in Somerset a few weeks ago and these bottles are flipping amazing they're beautiful they match our constellation color theme perfectly so I messaged Pete who ran the course and who works at the distillery and said hey any chance you've got any empties that you have spare that you might be able to give me that I can well that I'd happily pay for um that I can basically used to put the table names in for our wedding and Pete was amazing and sent them to me yesterday when we he emailed and they're here today so that's so good so there's actually 12 of them which is amazing and I'm thinking I'm going to keep this front label because it's really nice and Jack and I both love gin especially this one and um, we've got a half finished bottle downstairs <laughs> and take this one off and then like hand illustrate some little um, constellations all over it to kind of match the theme. So yeah, that's really exciting. Bit of wedding stuff to do. And it was so, so lovely of Six O'Clock Gin um, to send these to me for freezies, like absolute babes. Um, so if anyone is getting married in the near future after me and wants to use these that will have constellations on them as centerpieces, then hit me up and I will send them to you and pass it on post washing basket with all the stuff I need to take to wash downstairs on and I'm gonna try not to fall down the stairs and break my neck before my wedding trying to do a million things. Made it downstairs without dying. Well done me. Look at this. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> this poor fern. Hey remember when we went to uh, that garden centre in Somerset and got all the nice plants? Well Darren's killed his already. Look at that one. That one's looking sad too. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't know. <gasps> anyway. I think it's I think it's the light in here. I think it's too dark. It's not. You're just not watering them. That's yeah, I'm not happens. watering them either. Yeah, I mean it's that. The light in here is fine. Look, you can see it's pretty light in here. You're just a terrible plant, Dad. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're going for a run and then we're going for lunch at Thrive. Lunch slash basically dinner. Supper. Supper. Supper at Thrive which is a new vegan restaurant in Southampton run by Sarah who used to kind of work for Rice Up so should be good. Darren is 
talking his man parts with silky underwear dusting powder because apparently there's a lot of chaffage after that run. I am so sweaty. Ugh, got like a sweat patch. Ooh. But yeah, we managed 10k and it was the worst 10k in the whole world ever because I had a stitch for practically the whole thing and we had to stop like a million times. So that was great, but we did it in under an hour, so you win some, you lose some. It wasn't a bad run, it was still a good run. But now we've got to go to town for lunch and Darren gets to silk himself up with talcum powder and change and I have to go in my sweaty, horrible running clothes. So that was a massive oversight on my part. Good. I swear, every other week it's you eating a burger on my <laughs> on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Do you eat nothing but burgers? No. You've got so much burger sauce in your beard. Just got home from town. Was a bit worried about Luna because she hasn't eaten any of her food really, and I didn't feed her this morning. That's all left over from yesterday morning, and she doesn't have wet food normally, so that was really worrying. She's obviously not feeling quite herself, but. I've given her this cat soup, like a chicken soup, um, and she's eaten that, so hmm, hoping she's all right. She's been a bit out of character. This one's not, though. He's gobbling his food down like he's never eaten before, aren't you? Did a fairly good tidy up this morning. It's not looking too bad in here, other than that pile of polystyrene that came with our bedside tables that I don't really know what to do with. Six, and I am flipping exhausted today. Um, that run finished me off, and I've still got loads of stuff to do this evening, but it's all healthy sort of stuff. So I thought, do you know what? Instead of just having a shower, I'm gonna have a bath. I'm gonna have my, if I can get it out of the bag, one handed. I'm gonna have my lush bath bomb, which smells insanely good. It is. Butterball, I've not tried it before. I'm just gonna have a bath and then I'm gonna get my comfy clothes on and just do all the things I need to do in my gym jams basically and have a really wild Friday night because yeah, I'm tired man. Lots to do, I think September has hit me in the face really hard with the thought of getting married this month and stuff. So yeah, relaxing evening is needed and hopefully this will help. Better. ready to get all of the clothes off the line because they're still hanging out there hopefully they're dry and maybe think about making myself something to eat for dindins and getting on with smashing that to-do list because Friday is gonna be productive I mean it already has been productive Friday needs to be super productive every day needs to be super productive from here on out Mulberries look kind of gross, I guess. These are dried ones, but they taste amazing. So I'm having a little snacky of mulberries and some of this delish dark raw organic chocolate that I picked up in Rice Up, yeah. Morning, it's Saturday, and I just wanted to end the week there, really. I'm off to personal training. Yeah, because I didn't go yesterday because I had a run and because it's Eid. Abs was celebrating Eid with his family, so we put it to nine o'clock this morning instead. So no lay-in for me, and um, yeah, gotta get going. But thanks so much for watching, as always, and I hope you enjoyed watching what I got to this week. And of course, there'll be more next week, and a plant video, um, my plant Q&A coming up on Wednesday. So if you like plants like these guys, then yeah, stick around and check that out. See you soon. Have an amazing week. Bye.